The National Rugby Centre in Amsterdam in the Netherlands is the venue for this Rugby Europe Women's Championship 2024 clash between the Netherlands and Spain. The Netherlands are on a high after winning all three of their opening games in 2024 against Sweden, Portugal and Colombia. The victory over Colombia resulted in the Netherlands qualifying for WXV3 2024. Spain beat Portugal last weekend and two weeks ago they lost to South Africa. Spain are currently ranked 13th in the world while the Netherlands are ranked 15th. It is effectively a final today for the Netherlands as beating Spain would mean they would win the Rugby Europe Women's Championship 2024. However, the Netherlands have never beaten Spain. Spain have also won the last six Rugby Europe Women's Championships. Will today be a great day for the Netherlands or will Spain continue their quest to seven consecutive titles? Captain of the Netherlands, Linda van der Falden on the left, and then captain for Spain on the right, Cristina Blanco. <laughs> Two very experienced players, Linda van der Falden, her on, 19th cap today. And then the fixtures, just two more to go. This one being the decisive one. And if the Netherlands get a victory here, they will win the Rugby Europe's Women's Championship 2024. If Spain get a victory, then they would need to beat Sweden next week away from home. In terms of the table, Netherlands with two bonus point victories over Portugal and Sweden, scoring 16 tries in the process. Spain with just the one victory, but they've only played one game. That game a week ago against Portugal, winning convincingly. And although the temperature is quite hot out here in Amsterdam, it is blowing a gale, so that is likely to have an effect on the outcome of this game. A lovely 19 degrees for early April, but as you can see, very windy. Time to hear from the coaches. Juan, after your success against Portugal last weekend, what work, what did you work on specifically for today's game? Uh, we have worked a lot on on the strength that we have we saw uh, from Netherlands. I think they, they have been improving a lot. They have a great game against Colombia and and Portugal, so they, they have improved a lot. They they've got good things. They they so so we have been really focused on trying to to work on on, on that things that we need to 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 do well here to beat, to beat the Netherlands. Great, thank you for your time and good luck. Silke, you're in good trends with victories in your last games. What will be important to win today? Uh, important, I think this is a really important test for us to see where we are standing and um, yeah, we're gonna fight for every meter and uh, we will see at the end of the game what the outcome will be. Great, thank you for your time, good luck. Coaches, Juan Gonzalez of Spain, been in charge since April 22. And then a happy birthday as well to head coach from the Netherlands, Silke Haverkorn, her 36th birthday, the former touch front row between 2012 and 2019. Starting 15 for the Netherlands, Dix, the number one, locks Jongerius and Prince. Thanks, Boat and Lauken. Lichfoot, the number 10, centers Salbeck and Spurlich. And number 11, Van Nifterek, started in all three of the Netherlands games in 2024. It is their fourth consecutive start in 2024, and they are on fire. Jong Gerius, the number four, is the leading try scorer in 2024 for the Netherlands with three tries. For Spain, Blanco, the number two. Cora Chategi, the number eight. Faf, Aljudo, and fullback Peña have started in all of Spain's games since the opening round of WXV3 in 2023. It is their sixth consecutive start for Spain. Cano, the number 11, is only 18 and scored a try on debut versus South Africa two weeks ago. She's the youngest across both sides. And watch out for De Croote on the bench for the Netherlands. Her first appearance since the Netherlands beat Hong Kong in May 2023. And then Perez, the loose forward for Spain, is set for her international debut, only 19 years of age. 
And the Netherlands, well, they are on a high. And despite that they've never beaten Spain in the 12 encounters, they all believe today that they have what it takes to produce something special. teams making their way out onto the field on the right is the Netherlands led by Linda van der Falden and on the left is Spain led by Cristina Blanca beautiful crowd out here in the Netherlands there was over a thousand people record Dutch attendance in that victory three weeks ago against Colombia which made the Netherlands qualify for WXV3 in 2024 Now time for the anthems. Two proud nations, Phil Holmes, the national anthem of the Netherlands, and then Marcia Real of Spain. We almost set to go out here in the National Rugby Centre in Amsterdam. Two sides poised for this clash. Netherlands will know they'll need a good start if they are to change. Referee today is Melissa Lubeth, her third test in charge. She refereed this fixture in 2023, which was a debut, and she also made her Six Nations debut as an assistant referee for Italy and England a few weeks ago. will be Amalia Agudo to get us underway for Spain and we underway in this Rugby Europe Women's Championship 2024 clash between the Netherlands and Spain a victory here for the Netherlands will mean they'll win the title a victory for Spain will mean they're on quest for their seventh consecutive title but they'll need to beat Sweden next weekend as well Lemons at the base and it's taken by 
Pena, a lethal fullback. And then Kapal, Spain, starting with pace. And that time it was Rivera. Diaz looking for support. This is a beautiful line from Fire Perez to the left winger Cano. And they've started on fire, Spain. Five meters out. Diaz at the base to Villa Pinero. Back, 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 back. Martinez pops it beautiful short ball. Advantage. They've got the free play, Spain. No, Castilla. No, no, no. Okay. Diaz whips it wide to Agudo. And here comes Spain so close. This is good defense from the Netherlands. Diaz. With another good ball. Another pick and go. Delgado now, this time. Good patience shown by Spain. Blanco has a crack. The captain. Another free play. The Apinero. The number six scores for Spain. What a start for Spain. And Lea Pinero, just 22 years of age, what a prospect. Plays her club rugby for Pothello in Spain. Just see uh, Lea Pinero, as calm as ever, cashing in for an important score. So Amalia Agudo, three out of nine from the tee in 2024. And she converts that with certainty. So it's Netherlands zero, Spain seven, after three minutes here in Amsterdam. Agudo plays a club rugby for Toulouse. Nilete one in France. Licked foot with the restarts. It's a really good start from Spain in this fixture. Good control of the ball as well. And that time. So Diaz at the base. Back to. Oguda. Licked foot. The opposite number. And just a bit too much power on that kick. So that is out on the full. And it will be a Spain line out. Line outs for Spain last week against Portugal. 14 out of 16. Let's go. The first, the first player here. So Blanco to throw the captain. One try against Portugal last week. Diaz, Oguda, and then Perez. Okay. Diaz, Pinero is having a cracker, and here's Rivera. Diaz on the short side. Netherlands get a much needed penalty. And perhaps it's a chance to build something for the Netherlands. Very young squad today. S average age of their starting 15, just 24, and their bench 24 as well. And 
Licked foot, finds touch. Netherlands lineouts, just the five lineouts three weeks ago against Colombia on their own ball, winning three out of the five. Time up. Time up. The so time is back on. It will be Anushka Burgers to throw. Plays at club rugby in Belgium. Or Koch Masson. Burgers to throw. Rising highest is the captain. Van der Folder. And look at this rolling ball from the Netherlands. Incredible stuff. And they've got the penalty as well. What an offload. Lemons, licht foot. Unorthodox kick to Hoog. But we will come back for the penalty. So much power in that rolling ball. One yellow collapsing ball. One yellow. Spain conceded 15 penalties against Portugal last weekend. So that will be a concern. And Esme Lechtfoot will look to find some meters. She's got four try assists in 2024. And that's a great kick from Esme Lechtfoot. And this will be ominous for Spain. Netherlands have not scored a try against Spain in four games. The last four games they have not managed to cross the whitewash. Burgers to throw. Van der Falder, the captain, leading by example. Anushka Burgers at the back. It's looking powerful. Burgers still has it. The Netherlands edging closer and closer. This is phenomenal. But Spain also doing a good job in the process. And that's gone down. The ball is there for Lemons. She goes on the short side to the captain, Van der Falden. Lemons to Sydney van der Weyer. She'll be difficult to stop from near the powerhouse. And Spain have done a remarkable job to hold up that ball. Especially on Sydney de Weyer. He's so difficult to bring down. And Amalia Algudo will have a chance to clear. Back. One of Spain's top point scorers in the past few seasons. And that ball is not out. Here is Lemons. Lichtfoot playing at scrum off. And here's Jung Gerius, the towering number four. Lemons for Sydney de Vega. Lemons, Lichtfoot. Beautiful ball. Lemons working the short side to find a folder and then Prince and now Burgers once more. So plenty of possession here in the last two or three minutes for the Dutch. Nikki Dix, two tries this season and one assist as well. Lemons on the blind side. Lemons, Lichtfoot, Nikki Dix. Lemons, left foot. Okay, it's okay for me. And then the kick pass for Hoch. Senna Hoch giving chase, but Ogudo is well positioned once more. 
and Spain are doing well to keep the Netherlands out. But it's been a very competitive opening 10 minutes here in Amsterdam. You can see Kano or Peña, sorry, should I say, in picture. Okay, sorry, merci. With the ball in hand, she is lethal. So, Amalia Alcudo with the restart. Taken by Larkin. Just 20 years of age, plays a club rugby for Dior. Dix Lichtfoot. Lichtfoot still has it. So, can they unlock the Spanish defense, the Netherlands? Lemons, boats this time, the number six. Lemons loving the short side at the moment. Jong Gerius. Lemons on the short side once more. De Lechtfoot, good hands to Solbeck. And then it's Spolich, the outside center. Lemons. And he has Prins now. Lemons, Lechtfoot. And Burgers, Anushka Burgers. Lemons. And then Jorgerius with the offload. Cindy de Weijer. She's smashed in the tackle by Pinero. Van der Falder. No, it's okay, Boris. No, no. Lemons, Lichtfoot, Solbeck. This is really good defense from Spain. Lemons, Anushka Burgess. Tap and go from Jongerius, but she'll be brought back. Decision time now for Captain Linda van der Falder. Captain. And there's the experience. She will take the shot at goal. Not really the Linda Not van der Falder and the captain. Made a debut all the way back in 2016 and plays for the Exeter Chiefs, who are third in Premier 15s. 62 appearances for the side and 14 tries. She's also played for Toulouse. And it will be Marit Lemons to have a shot at goal. She has had four previous attempts in the competition. Those coming against Sweden, slotting one out of four. And she plays her club rugby in Spain for Burgos. She's getting support now from Nikki Dix. So Marit Lemons to open the Netherlands accounts. Marit Lemons. And she is unsuccessful. She'll be disappointed with that one. Time off. And getting attention is Lisa Boat. Time off, please. And Netherlands Faith will be hoping that she is okay. She's been one of the star performers. Played in all three games this year for the Netherlands. Substitution. And her fourth consecutive start. Plays a club rugby for Diok, a 25 year old, and two tries this season against Sweden and Portugal. Substitution, please. She's back on her feet. And she will be replaced, but the good thing is she is on her feet. Okay. This was the opening try through Lia Pinero, a 22-year-old striking for Spain Simon. with the pick and jam. Amalia Alcudo. That was brilliant. Good awareness from Okudo. Thanks. 
And Spain have done well to stop that onslaught. De Castilla with the carry, but it is a penalty to the Netherlands. And so far, despite being down, they've done well. The last two scores in these fixtures was 70 0 to Spain and 69 0 to Spain. So after 14 minutes, only seven points down, and they have an opportunity to level proceedings here potentially with a seven pointer after 15 minutes. So, so far, although it's early days, they are showing growth in the Netherlands. So, Burgers to throw. Two tries against Portugal in round two of the competition. Burgers. Van der Falder. Rising highest once Love more. Burgers at the back. And here comes this roving mall okay, from the Netherlands. It is a thing of beauty. Spain do well in the end. It's Lemons. And this time it's Salvek who turns 40 in October. Around 75 caps for the Netherlands. 50. Left foot. Just got it passed wrong there. And Kano, or Peña, should I say, the fullback, gathers it. And then it's no, Rivera, no. the number four. Diaz, Ogudo. And then chasing back is Esme Lichtfoot. First start at 10 this okay, year. Stop, stop. As yet met, okay. has gone back to the USA. Okay, Okudo, wall position once more. It's a really good kick. Marit Lemons has to go all the way back into a 22. And she clears the decks. Blanco. To feed. Pinero. And then Capal. Diaz. Okudo. Perez. To Ben Wessa. Picked up by Cano. And yes, Peña. Beautiful ball to Bicero. Bicero for the corner. Sensational from Spain, and what a score for Claro. Be careful. Just so lethal. And Peña with a beautiful ball to Be careful. Peña, okay. two v one, and Be careful for the corner. And Just there was avant, nothing uh, Gaia van Nietzsche sure, sure could do about that. What a score for Bikero. Bon. Avant it was a decent it. effort, though, from Gaia van Nietzsche. And you can just see the celebration, yeah. Beautiful. No, no, stop. Please, please. Stop. Time off. TMO, please. Well, up to the TMO we go. And this should be interesting. Okay. Uh, regardez, uh, regardez. regardez. You can look at it. 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 Okay. Okay. C'est bon. 
C'est un... bon pour ouais, moi, c'est un red play, c'est une... un joueur orange qui rabat le ballon. Ouais, Donc ouais. avantage, pas de problème. Oh, ça a permis que tu peux accorder l'essai. No no come for the pass, it's okay, try. Well, there you have it. Try is good. And for Rugby Europe, this is a test TMO. <laughs> First time it's being introduced. And you can just see the benefit there. And Ogudo is unsuccessful. But it's the Netherlands zero. Spain 12. So Netherlands, do they have a response? Do they have a retort? Lichtfoot with the restart. Taken by Elena Martinez, the number five. Martinez and Rivera, the only changes for Spain this week. Lichtfoot. And taken once more by left foot. Very well positioned. Okay, stop the run, Skillful run. player. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. With an array stop, of stop. abilities. Okay. And so has Pena. And she's been charged by left foot. Picked up by Alcudo. And what a tackle from Prince. Lemons. And then Jonkerius. Quick ball, yeah, for the Netherlands. De Veijer, De Veijer. What a carry by the tight end prop. Lemons, back on the inside from Lechtfoot to Prins. The number five, brilliant inside ball back, from back, Lechtfoot. Back. Lemons, Lechtfoot once more. Dick's good hands by the loose head prop. Lemons, Jongerius, looking for the offload. Good ball presentation. Lemons, left foot with the little grub up. Into touch it goes. So it'll be a Spanish five meter line out, but that was great from the Netherlands. Time off, please. Okay. Uncharacteristic Sorry. error there from Claudia Pena. Yeah. Yeah. Since the beginning yeah. of the, the WXV3 yeah. in 2023, in, uh, she scored six uh, tries. Uh, of the mall. It's okay for me. It's the first player on the mall. But uh, do I have to release if I have the ball? Yeah. Is there more? I have the ball. Yeah. The ball goes to the floor. Yeah. It's a. Uh, no, because no, no one answered the, the mall, me. Oh, it was no, a mall okay. from, from the, from the line. Oh, okay. I, 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 uh, I, uh, sorry. Simon, please. Here. Here. Thanks. Blanco to throw. Stop. Taken by Pinero. She's the go-to at line out time. Support at the rack from Martinez, no, number Andrea, five. No, Diaz back to Okudo. That is an absolutely brilliant kick from Amalia Okudo. Time off, please. Please, not touch the ball, please. Save the ball. Okay, thank you very much. That's good refereeing there by Melissa Lubeth. Sorry. Educating the youth. So Nushka Burgess. Very dangerous at the back of the rolling mall. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's a disappointing throw. It's taken by Petrith Rivera Diaz. And here's De Castilla. Diaz is taking her time at the base. Finds her navigator in Amalia Agudo. Amalia Agudo, what a kick. Really close to being 50-22. She's really navigating proceedings. But to lose number 10. Burgess to throw. Taken by Prince. Inside ball from Jongerius to Lauken. Pinero trying to get over that ball for Spain. Lemons. At the base, that ball is not out. Agudo, good hands by Amalia Agudo. And Spain are devastating on attack. Diaz, and this time it's Maria del Castilla. Diaz to Capal, Alba Capal. Diaz. Beautiful ball over the top to Cano. The 18 year old, just the third cap. Maria de Castilla with the pop pass to her prop partner, Laura de Gado. No, the body's okay, stay on. Spain showing good patience here. They're looking to strike at the right moment, Diaz. Diaz once more to Elena Martinez. Good defense from Jongerius, the number four. And then eventually the ball is spilt. Let's go. It's not the first line. Play. Please, orange play. Let's go. Characteristic knock on by Biko Korachategi. Well, this will be concerning for Inga Jonkerius and the rest of the Netherlands if she. Doesn't continue, Sorry. but she looks to be on her feet. Around 15 caps for the Netherlands. Plays a club rugby for Vaterland, which on the top team at the moment in women's club rugby in the Netherlands. Nikki Dix as well plays for that club. Lee said prop. We will have a reset. The Netherlands, well, three weeks ago, they were very successful at scrum time on their own ball against Colombia. Nine out of ten Crouch. on their own ball. Mine. Set. Lemons to feed pressure from Spain. Van der Folder leading by example. What a break from the captain on the charge. Van der Folder, Lemons, space on the left. Yes, Prins. She's been phenomenal. But she's malted in the tackle. Lemons. And then Lichtfoot. Lichtfoot still going. She's had a good game. 
the number 10. Lemons on the short side, loving that short side. Van Nifterik working the tram lines. Yes, Burgess. So they've had such positive play in the Netherlands, but they need to find a way to register some points. Lemons, Lichtfoot. Beautiful ball to De Feijer, the tight end prop. Lemons, Lichtfoot, Solbeck to Lichtfoot, almost intercepted. And it's play on. Walking back for the scrum. Just in terms of both these squads, so the Netherlands 15 out of their 23 play their club rugby in the Netherlands. Six from Diok, four from Vaterland, three from ACC, two from RUS, and the remaining eight either play in England, France, Belgium, or Spain. And three players play for Burgos in Spain. Spanish national side, 15 of their 23 play their club rugby in Spain. Two teams with the largest cohorts, Abothelo with three and Majadahonda with three. And then six of the other players are either from Elite One in France or two from the Premier 15s in England. So rugby on up in both these nations, that's for sure. Crouch! Bye! Set! Good dummy run from Solbeck. And then the fullback, Tal, coughs up the beans. And Diaz. Licked foot. And that's one of her only errors really in this game so far. She's been impressive. It's okay, good. Continue. Spain against Portugal last weekend on their own ball, five from six at scrum time. Crouch! Bye! Set! Lucia Diaz with the put in. Pressure from the Netherlands. Okudo with a good carry. Wrapped up in the tackle. And Kapal. She's been industrious. Diaz. Almost intercepted, but Laura Delgado has it. Affectionately known as Bimba. And Amalia. Alcudo sends it into the 22. There was a fear a few years ago that she had been lost to France. And she was in a few training camps prior to making her debut for Spain. Okay, 
So Spain searching for a third try, which will put them into a comfortable position. Cristina Blanco. To deliver. And that is a skew throw. There was no way Beatriz Rivera would take that. And Linda van der Folder ops for a scrum. Spanish side, also a young squad. Average age of their starting 15, 24. Average age of their bench, 25. So both these teams with plenty of young talents. Marit Lemons to feed. A good shunt from Spain once more, but Linda van der Folder does a good job at the back of that scrum, the captain of the Netherlands. Lemons on the short side for Dix. Good tackle from De Castilla. Netherlands not afraid of running it from their own half. That was Van der Felder, the captain once again. Plenty of carries this afternoon. Marit Lemons at the base. And Peña is well positioned. Absolutely marvelous from Peña. She is still going. Absolutely marvelous from the fullback. Deadly from Spain. Claudia Peña. With a third try of calendar year 2024. And she scored a brace against the Netherlands last season. Just marvelous, absolutely marvelous. With the dummy. Deadly from Claudia Peña. Good up, easy as you like. And Spain starting to show their class. Claudia Pena also the try scorer back in WXV 2023 against Fiji. She scored a hat trick as well as a try against Ireland. She plays a club rugby for Barca. And when she was 16, she scored all the points in the final and won that division as well. So pretty impressive CV. She made a debut against Russia in 2022. Alongside Patricia Garcia, which was her last game for Spain. So, so far, the difference between these sides has definitely been the flair from Spain on attack. Orange, please. Orange, orange. No, no meeting, please. No. Score. Burgers. Taken by Linda van der Felder. Number two, finish, finish. Number Getting two, this rolling more going. Stop, stop. Lemons looking for support finds Solbeck. Lemons with the skip pass. It's not accurate. Taken by Tal. Tal still going. Isis Tal. Lemons. Dix. That's gone back. So it's play on. Good pressure from Del Castilla. Lemons, crisp pass to Jongerius. And here is Hoch. 
She's only 18. She's the youngest on the park for the Netherlands. Prince smashed in the tackle. Lemons to De Feijer. Lemons, Lichtfoot, and Tau. Massive hit from Bicero on Spolich. Nicky Dix. So they're going backwards here, the Netherlands, but that was a good leg drive from Nicky Dix. Lemons, Van der Falder. Stop, stop, run, stop. Lichtfoot. Trying to manage the game. Okay, it's taken by stop, Claudia stop, stop. Peña. The Spanish sensation. Isis Tal. A first stop, opportunity stop. at fullback. Previously playing at centre and fly off for the Netherlands. Played at fly off against Sweden in the opening round. Phenomenal tackle from Bicero. Blanco to throw. She's been playing her previous three seasons in England for Wasps and now at Ealing Trailfinders. 21st cap. Blanco taken by Pinero, Alcudo, and then Delgado, the tight head prop in center field. Diaz. Okudo, she's charged once more. But Spain still have possession. Diaz. Taking her time. Capal, Okudo. And then Vinuesa for Peña. And yes, Piquero once more. Backline just so dangerous from Spain. Capal with another healthy carry. Pressure from Sydney De Vecher. Back on the inside from Alcudo. Diaz. Good ball to De Cardo. Alcudo with good hands, but then Korachategi can't take it. And yes, Kano now. Back on the inside. Diaz, and then Del Castilla to the Lock Rivera. Diaz with the pop pass. Spain have the free play. Diaz trying to go through the heart of the Netherlands defense. Alba Capal and Maria del Castilla. Just embracing there, the number seven and loose head prop. And this time it will be Claudia Peña to have a shot at goal. Such a talent, Claudia Peña. Claudia Pena to add the extra three. And that's not her best kick. And a quick take here. Van Nifterek. The Netherlands. Will they look to clear the decks and go into the sheds? Will they try to be adventurous? Linda van der Felde. Bye, 
Marit Lemons. Okay, stop. And that ball is not out, so it'll be another opportunity potentially for Spain. But what a gather by Isa Prince. Lemons, not a best pass, but look at the handling skills from Nikki Dix. Lemons, Van der Falder. So will they produce a bit of magic here, the Netherlands? Back, back. Marit Lemons. And licked foot. Okay. And it's not out. Spain, stop, what's stop, their idea? Oh, good up. Lemons. Once more. And that is out on the full. So that is half time yeah. out here at the National Rugby Centre in Amsterdam. It's the Netherlands zero, Spain 19. And historically, if you look at the fixtures between both these sides with the average scoreline, Netherlands have shown growth in this first half. And pretty much the difference between the sides has been the attacking prowess of Spain. Scoring three tries in the process. Kicking it off in the first few minutes through Lia Pinero, the number six. And then the right winger, Clara Piquero. And then the sensation, Claudia Peña. And at the moment... Spain's quest of their seventh consecutive title is looking really good. If they maintain the scoreline or with this go on to win the game, all they'll have to do is beat Sweden next week. The Netherlands, while well, they have had their performers in this fixture, the two locks have been brilliant for Netherlands. Inga Jongerius and Isa Prince. And this is how things got underway through Omalia Agudo of Spain. And Lia Pinero with the pick and jam from close quarters. She's an expert at this from close range. Okudo slotted the extras. And the Netherlands really tried to hit back. They were inside the 22 of Spain for about five minutes with consistent pressure. And then Peña, who has an assist and a try as well. She set up the second try for Piquero with a lovely fend. And a sensational try from Spain. Memorable score for Piquero in her 16th cap. The next foot, she's also had a good game. Well positioned, managed the game nicely. Despite the scoreline. In Spain, it's just been a well polished performance from them. Look at this try. This marvelous score from Claudia Pena. And also, just a reminder you can go to Rugby Europe TV to watch other international games as well this afternoon. Sweden versus the Ukraine in the men's conference and Australia and sorry in Austria versus Bosnia and Herzegovina and Hungary versus Luxembourg.
We will join these shortly for the second half.
It's almost ready for the second half. Yeah, or just the fixtures that have previously been played. And then there's one fixture after this game next week between Sweden and Spain. And if Spain remain in the driving seats, all they'll have to do is beat Sweden next week to win their seventh consecutive title. Netherlands started their campaign in round one with a massive victory over Sweden, scoring 11 tries. And then also defeating Portugal by scoring five tries in that fixture. For Spain, they have only played Portugal in the campaign so far, where they won 24-0 in Barcelona last week. And outside this competition recently, the Netherlands beat Colombia to qualify for WXV3 in 2024. That game was three weeks ago at this very venue with a record crowd of over a thousand spectators. Spain also played against South Africa two weekends ago and narrowly lost 15 points to 13. They had an opportunity in the final minutes to win it. But it was a missed kick from Amalia Alcudo, who's been in fine form this afternoon for Spain. And while for the Netherlands, if you look at their last four games against Spain, they lost 70-0, 69-0, 87-0, 54-0. -0. And then the last time they scored a try against Spain was in 2018. It was Wopke van Leeuwen. He was the last Dutch player to score against Spain in this fixture. But even though they are 19 points down, it's been a much improved performance and Rugby in the Netherlands is on the up, currently ranked 15th, just two positions behind Spain. And their supporters will be expecting tries from them in the second half. And they do have the capability, they've got the players, they've got the talent, and it's just about finishing off the opportunities which They've shown that in the first half, they were in positions to score tries. And this Spanish outfit. It's the well-oiled machine and just devastating out wide. And Blanco was in picture there with the strapping on her leg. The captain of Spain. So Esme Lechtfoot, who's done a really good job stepping in for Yetmet, who's back in the US. Melissa Lubeth, checking with the officials. Ismail Lichtfoot gets us underway for the Netherlands in the second half of this Rugby Europe Women's Championship 2024 clash between Netherlands and Spain. Diaz back to Peña, the fullback. That was a massive punt. And in the end, Isis Tal could not take that ball, the 23-year-old from Abateland. Claudia Pena is just such a talent. Massive kick, putting the pressure on her opposite, Isis Tal. And coming onto the park now for the Netherlands is Anouk Verkamp, and she replaces Anushka Berkus. And Verkamp scored a try against Sweden earlier in the year and plays a club rugby for Hartbury in the UK. Lucia Diaz to feed. Started playing rugby at five years old for Machada Honda. And 
She's 26 now, still playing the game 21 years later. Bora Tategi under pressure from the Netherlands. She did well in the end to retain that ball. Taken by Beatriz Rivera. Okudo. Opportunity for Senna Ho. And then Rivera with the error. Just 21, Rivera made her debut against Portugal last weekend and played Spain under 20 in 2023. Club with El Salvador in Spain. On the park for the Netherlands is also the tight head prof cost. On the right hand side of Netherlands scrum. Lemons. Van der Volder, that was a knock on. She'll be gutted with herself there. It was pressure on that scrum from Spain. That front row of Maria. Del Castilla, Cristina Blanco, and Laura Delgado doing a fantastic job. So much pressure on Nikki Dix. This is Spain. This is where they thrive, offset piece. Lucia Diaz. With the put in. Solid from Spain. And then Perez for Acudo. And Piquero off her wing. Diaz on the short side to Perez. Via Perez, the inside center, is only 20 years of age. Acudo. And Rivera with the carry. Okudo once more. Beautiful from the captain Blanco with the offload to Del Castilla and she spills the beans. Solbeck in support. But Blanco with a brilliant break. And they're just about hanging on you, the Netherlands. Struggling to cope with this attacking prowess of Spain. Blanco. And then a prop partner, Del Castilla. Not managing to collect. with the put in and the Netherlands really needed that penalty to get out of their half Marit Lemons. Good scrum from the Netherlands. Van der Valder controlling it at the back. And she finds Solbeck. The inside centre, the 39-year-old. 
with a brilliant carry. Lemons. Jungerius. Lemons and Van der Velde. Back, 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 run. Stop. Really good exit from the Netherlands. Stop, run. Leaving the pressure and then Lemons with the box kick. Almost gathered from Prince. Advantage. No advantage, sorry. No come. That was great play. From Van der Falde, Pin Solbeck, the inside centre who made that carry, and then the box kick from Marit Alemans. Just a word on Pin Solbeck. She's been playing for the Netherlands since 2007. So that's about 18 seasons. She did have a break in between. And she's played sevens for the Netherlands as well. 40 in October. And she's in brilliant condition. Head, head, no. Okay? Keep the space. It's okay? Keep the space. We, we, we only do Salt Beck as well plays her club rugby for Vaterland. Along with Tao Dix and Jung Heres. Diaz at the base. Pena looking to clear. And Tal has to backtrack all the way back okay, on her five meter, and all she can do is clear. And Spain are now in a brilliant position to hunt for their fourth try. Yellow, yellow, no missing, please. No missing. Blanco. Rivera taps it back. And Capel and working so hard. And Castilla. Del Castilla. Sorry. Chategi as well with the carry. Diaz looking for support. Okudo with the skip ball. It's a loose one. Kano is isolated. And that is just really good from the Netherlands. Pin Solbeck with the plaudits. 30 minutes still to go. Yeah, plenty of time for the Netherlands to get themselves back into this game. And you just never know if they can score two tries, they'll be right back in this and it could change the complexion of this fixture. Time off, please, substitution. Number one, number 15, 15, number one. 15, I Nikki Dix getting replaced by Julia Maral. And toe by Jordan Hell. Bitter Kamp to throw for the Dutch. And the 
it's got to be really disappointing for coach Silke Avrakorn. Giving possession away to Spain. And Spain opt for the scrum. Number seven, it's... Diaz, worth the delivery. The body out. Fresh on Diaz. In Alcudo. Straight to. Alcudo. No, no, no. Brilliant footwork from the number 10. And then Perez with the carry. Okuro once more. Del Castilla. Diaz, Okuro. Good hands from Delgado, but it was a knock on. And offside as well. Decent touch finder by Esme Lichtwitz. So the Netherlands with another opportunity now to build something. Good handling initially and then out of all players, Peña with the knock on. Bringing on the replacements, Spade. Castilla replaced by Antolinez. But it comes to Linda van der Felde. Working hard once more, the Dutch. Lemons, the scrum off, wants it. But it but it still going. Brilliant carry by Verkamp, Lemons for Jong Gerius. Lemons once more. So has to present the ball. Lemons and then Spolich with the fend. Beautiful offload to Gaia van Nipterek. Lemons, van der Folder. Can they put the hammer down? This is their opportunity. Cast. Lemons. Richtfoot. Solbeck Go takes on. contact. Sorry. Lichtfoot has to play at nine. Young Gerius with yet another carry. Feeling for the high tackle. Lemons. Prins. Lemons, Van der Falde, good hands. Makinga. Ready? Uno. Uno. Van der Falde. Stay, stay. Lauken. No, it's okay. The number Ready? seven. Phase Back. after phase we go here in Amsterdam. Lemons, Verkamp. Almost okay. intercepted. Left foot. Stabs it ahead. There was no advantage okay. there. Yes. 
Ouais, s'il te plaît. Ouais. Time off, please. GMO. Hop. We, we can check uh, uh, high tackle for the, for the rush in, uh, in the GMO, okay? Alex, oh, don't worry. Ah, juste pour contrôler. Ok, donc, pour moi, je pense que c'est le pole play dans le dans le rock et le ice crawl. Tu peux regarder, tu peux regarder okay. maintenant. Ok. Je ne sais pas si c'est là, si c'était autre chose. Tu vas voir la prise un petit peu, voilà. Les salles de la jaune. C'était, euh, c'était ça ou autre chose Ouais, non, c'est celle-là. C'est celle-là. Celle tu veux revoir okay. Tu veux revoir Ouais, je veux bien revoir, s'il te plaît. Come back, come back, come back. Ok, Rayon. Ok, on revoit. Ok. Voilà, c'était ça. Ok, ce sera ouais. On partira sur, sur une simple pénalité hein, pour moi. Ouais, d'accord. D'accord. On a on a un joueur qui, euh, qui, qui est en train de tomber. Ouais. On est sur euh, un deuxième claqueur qui est passé. Donc je partirai sur une simple pénalité si tu es d'accord avec okay, moi. Ok, ok, d'accord avec toi. Tu as le numéro Tu as le numéro Donc remonte-moi s'il te plaît, ouais, pardon, le come numéro. Back, come back. Ok. Donc, c'est la casquette noire. Ouais, c'est la casquette bleue euh, bleu euh, ou noire. On bleu. va voir, on va voir. Si t'as le numéro, je le veux dire. Ouais, alors c'est la casquette, c'est la casquette bleue. Euh, la casquette bleue. Hmm, on voit pas. Numéro non, 4, je... non, il semble. Non, et, et behind, behind the coast. Euh, on, on regarde avec une autre caméra. Voilà. Avec ouais, yeah. quelques oui, de derrière, voilà. si tu as, s'il te plaît. On regarde, tu peux regarder. Tu peux regarder. Voilà, on okay. va voir qu'elle se relève. Ouais. Donc, la, c'est, la 4, c'est, la c'est la 4. C'est la numéro 4, on est bien d'accord. Ok, okay. Donc, simple pénalité. Sur, euh, okay. Super, Merci. super. Vous êtes d'accord avec tout, c'est bon Vous êtes d'accord avec tout, c'est bon Captain Yelva Captain We had uh, we had uh, ice call for the for the work. We, we had uh, uh, ice call for the scrum for the number four. Okay, just a penalty for the for the orange here. Okay? Oh. Yeah, penalty. Yeah, because uh, ice call for number four. Okay. Tu peux me donner le point euh, On est là On est sur le bon, la bonne reprise ou pas C'est bon Ok, I take all. From. Good explanation from Melissa Lubeth. Pulling both captains aside. Christina Blanco of Spain and uh, Linda van der Folder of the Netherlands. So the Netherlands, while they're looking for their first try against Spain in over six years, and they have a good opportunity here. Esme Lechtfoot, you can see she's deciding which way to go, the number 10. Lemons. Van der Folde, Lemons, left foot, over the top it goes to Gaia van Nipterek. Lemons, Jonkerius looking hungry. Cast, cast, she's done it! Richter Cast scores the Netherlands' first try in six years against Spain and what a moment for the Netherlands break the cast the last player to score for the Netherlands against Spain in March 2018 was Bubka van Leeuwen and now break the cast delivers Lemons to cast So 
Lemons was unsuccessful with the first penalty attempt. Looking to get this conversion, and she's missed that one as well. But just what a moment for the Netherlands. Yeah. Already so much tighter than the average scoreline. Over the past 12 games, it's been 47 points to three over Spain. Sorry, 47 points to three in favour of Spain over the Netherlands. So it shows you just 14 points the difference in this fixture. So the number 12, Faya Perez, just 20 years old. With the reset, plays a club rugby for Mahahonda. Made a debut in 2022 for Spain. So the Netherlands. Will this spark something? There's still 20 minutes left. Lemons. With the box kick. Perez. Good carry and take. Good hands from Kuratategi and Kunnel. The winger, Rivera to Blanco, Diaz, and Spain are looking to hit back immediately, and this is why they're classy outfit, Martinez, Diaz for Rivera, who will come back for the penalty. They will have a shot at goal, Spain. They do realize that they just need some extra points to make it a three score game. Currently, two converted tries would mean it would be a draw if the Netherlands had to do that without Spain scoring any more points. It's a sensible option from the captain, Cristina Blanco. So Claudia Peña already an assist in this game and a try looking for Spain's first points of the second half. Claudia Peña. And she's done just that. So they score immediately after conceding Spain. And it's Netherlands 5, Spain 22 after about an hour a year in the National Rugby Centre in Amsterdam. Lick foot. With the restart. Eighth cap today, just 20 years of age. Plays a club rugby for Dioc. Peña. That's Jordan Hull. Goes to the air. And then taken from Peña. And here's Busa and Chasti. Last played against Ireland for Spain in WXV3 in 2023. Diaz back to Okuro. Exceptional kick. In terms of temperature, it's been very hot out here in Amsterdam, but there's been a lot of wind today that we've still seen four excellent tries, and there's still 20 minutes left. 
plenty of time for a twist in the tail. Via Kamp to throw. Up goes Van der Folder, and she can't gather that ball. And Solbeck, the veteran, has to rescue the ball. Prins with the carry. That time it was Maral and Lichtfoot in at the base. The Caterpillar Ruck of the Netherlands showing off. What a kick from Lichtfoot. Peña looks to clear. She was under a little bit of pressure. And there's another opportunity here for the Netherlands. Melissa Lubeth, the referee, is all right there. Shaking off that little niggle. <laughs> Castro and for Diaz. For the Kamp to throw. In the front of Folder, that's much better. Lalka now. The burst away flanker, but she is smashed in the tackle from Blanco Lemons on the short side to Jong Gerius. Lemons, Verkamp. Lemons, just growing in confidence here. Left foot to Solbeck. Another big hit from Blanco. Van der Folder cast the try scorer. Lemons, left foot. And Prince. This is actually the force that time. Back on the inside to cast. Lemons. Left foot. Hull. Really good defense from Kano. Lemons is under pressure. Brick to cast. Lemons. Gongerias and Solbeck again malted in the tackle. Some big hits here from Spain. And big pressure, but they do have the penalty, the Netherlands. And the highest points they've ever scored against Spain was all the way back in 2010. And they scored 12 points. So converted try, yeah, will take them up to their highest points ever scored against Spain. Licked foot. And as we've seen, particularly in the first half, the Netherlands have a strong rolling mall. You never know. You might just see a rolling mall try. Fifteen minutes left. The Netherlands in search of their second try of the afternoon. For Kamp to throw. Linda van der Folder leading by example. Lalkin has it. The number seven. But Spain survive. Another onslaught. Scrum, just a scrum. Not, not voluntary, just a scrum. 
Another opportunity for the Netherlands corner begging. Castro to feed for Spain. Crouch! Bye! Set! Julia Castro with the put in. Solid shove. That's exactly what you want from your forwards when you're under pressure. Pena. Another good clearance, but that ball's not out. Yeah, it's Hull. But it was says the assistant referee. It's a really good effort to keep that ball in field. Per Cup. Van der Falder just completely missed the Per Cup. And the line outs on the hole. Not straight. Captain. They've yeah, been struggling for the Captain. Netherlands. Blanco is off the park. The captain Bruno. replaced by Noria Show. Will be show to feed. Back, back, Tore back, her back. ACL a few years ago. It's good to see her back in the setup. She had to set up a crowdfund page for her rehab. And good to see her back. Really? Covering from that ACL. No, no, no. Yellow. Stop, stop, yellow. Castro. Stop, 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 stop. And Pena. Jordan Hull fumbles. Okay. Nifterik gives it stop. to left foot. Stop, stop. Claudia Pena. Oh, she can hurt you off. real bad. What an offload. But then Castro with stop, a forward stop. pass. Claudia Pena, when she gets going, Captain. she's just so dangerous. Option from? From. For Rota. Time off, please. Substitution, repeat, please. Number seven, yellow. Penya has now scored tries in all the games in calendar year 2024 in South Africa, Portugal, and now the Netherlands. What a moment now for Valentina Perez, who's making her test debut for Spain. Only 19 years of age, and her supporters back at Les Abelas will be going absolutely bonkers for the loose forward. Lemons. Good scrum, Netherlands. Lemons. Solbeck with yet another okay, instrumental carry. Next foot once more uses the stop. caterpillar rack. Stop, stop, no, stop! Stop! And then taken by Perez. Inside center. Lauken coming through the side. And Spain have the penalty.
in Spain, well, they haven't had it all their own way. If you look at the history of these fixtures in this fixture, just the three tries to show and no tries in the second half, but that can change very quickly. Noria show to feed for Spain. Good take by Korat Chategi. And Matanef, strong carry by the second rower in centre field. Castro. And he has a big opportunity now. Back on the inside to Kano. Netherlands have a turnover. Lichtfoot. Taken by Busa and Chasti. She's had some good touches since entering the fray. And Spain yet again have another penalty. One, one, one. No, one. No. Okay. Penalty, I And that ball's not out. Left foot. Stop, stop, stop. Well positioned. Once again, that ball's not out. Yes, Claudia Pena. Sorry. Pena. Beautiful footwork. Tackled by okay. Solbeck and Spolek. But what a turnover from the Netherlands. Lemons to Lauken. Spolek to Hull. And Piquero with the good hits. It's been turned yet again. Piquero has to play at nine. Fisa. Replacement second row. Castro. Busa and Chasti. Castro. Busa and Chasti. Perez. Peña. So threatening. He can't take her eyes off, you, off her. But the Netherlands do have a, a turnover here. Show trying to steal that ball. Back. No, finish, no. Oh. 16, no. No. Next foot. Stop, stop. Peña. Just really seems to be everywhere, the fullback. Okay, stop. No, fine, fine. Next foot. This time it's Faya Perez. And Jordan Hull assessing her options. Stop, stop, Goes no, for the no, up and no, under. No, no. There's no real kick okay. chase there. And Perez takes it back downtown. And that's a really good kick from the 20 year old. Please. 11 yellow, 11 yellow, 11 yellow. There's Pena, what a fend. Seven orange, please. Yeah, sorry, but isn't it and 14 orange. Seven and 14 orange, please. Yeah. Joël, dis-moi. Yes, dis-moi, Joël, tu m'as parlé. Dis-moi. Non, non, il n'est pas dans les 22. Non, non, il est sorti avant les 22. On est bien d'accord Non. Ok, c'est un 50-22, alors tu, euh, tu, tu, c'est bon pour toi aussi, Joël Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's a 15. 
<laughs> no, check who is the TMO. Okay, Captain? Stop. Time off. Time off, block more. Stop, stop, play. Stop. Few replacements here for both sides. Marquette, the number 23 for Spain, is on the park. Made a debut for Spain it's last okay. week against Portugal, the 19 year old. Taken by Pico Corachetegui. No, no, no. At the back is Show. Castro wants it. Still no, going no, out no, no, from no. Show at the rear. No. Outside. Castro says still keep going. The player. There's a penalty. Coming in front of us, in front of the ball player. A big let off for the Netherlands. Of obstruction. Lichtfoot. Being a stand out performer in this fixture. Obstruction Along of the ball. With her two locks. Bulgarius and ball Prince. No. Yeah, just the player. But the player of the match of will go of to Claudia Pena, who has scored a try, made a try assist, and also slotted a penalty. Just 19 years of age, and she is some prodigy of note. What a start. Claudia Pena is the player of the match. Pisa. Castro. Advantage is over. Perez on debut with a memorable carry. Castro. Marquez. Marquez still going. Brilliant okay, line play, break play from the outside back. Spain searching for their fourth try of the afternoon. Antolinez. The prop forward. Castro to show. Castro to Tisa, and she cops it up. What a break that was from Marquez, Martina Marquez. Time off. Attention is Yudia Maral, plays a club rugby for ACC in the Netherlands, just 21 years of age. Spain, while may have had plenty of opportunities to score more tries in the second half, but the execution has been missing, and the Netherlands just really demonstrated how much they have grown in the past year. Already started with that victory in May 2023 against Hong Kong, China. And then showing through their performances against Portugal, Sweden and Colombia. Lemons, Thunderfolder, great play from Thunderfolder to Makinka, 
is on the park in the number 22 jumper. Back. And then Prinz with the take. They've carried well the whole game, that long combination of Jungerius and Prinz. And Lichtfoot. Claudia Pena. Claudia Pena. And she's marked well this time by the Netherlands. Castro. Perez. Valentina Perez. Pena playing at nine. Fisa. Castro. And then Jo. And she is wrapped up in the tackle. Pena. Good tackle from DeFoss. And Solbeck. Antolinez. Fisa, good carry. Face, face, face. Face, face. Castro working at short side. Back, back, back. Ines Antolinez. Better camp with the hits. As well as cast. Show. Back. Opportunity for the Netherlands. Trying to set off here is the throat. Lemons to find a folder. Stop, stop. Young Kherius. Young Kherius through the middle. On the charge goes Inga Young Kherius to cast. Really good effort from the Netherlands, but what a break that was from Inga Young Kherius. So many carries and meters. For the number four. It's a beautiful sight. A 28 year old just couldn't get that offload. To the force, there's one minute to go. Spain at the moment will be denied a bonus point. Bye. Unless they score another try. No space. Please keep the space. Okay. Eight of these. What does Spain have up their sleeves? Valentina Perez on debut, on the charge. Castro, Martinez. No, no, no. Castro, Peña, Jordan Hull controls that four wall. Hull with a good carry in centre field. Can they produce some magic here? Lemons. It's Lemons once more. Left foot. Danger. Benuesa to Marquez. And they're still going out for Pinero. And then Brasic. Show. Kereth over the top for Gora Chategi. Good carry by Gora Chategi. Pena with the offload to Marquez. Looking for that Back. bonus point try, Spain. Castro. Building wall, Spain. Castro at the base. 
Finds another runner in centre field. Castro sniping. Bora Chategi with the carry. And Netherlands somehow get another turnover. The defence has been super impressive in the second half. And in fact, they have scored more points than Spain in the second half, which is some victory in itself. And Marit Lemons says enough's enough. And it's Spain who are well on their quest to winning their seventh consecutive title. They have beaten the Netherlands 22 points to five here in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. And they have the opportunity now to go and win their seventh title in a row when they play Sweden away from home next weekend. However, it's been a much improved performance from the Netherlands when you take into account the history of the fixtures between these sides. It's just the 13th encounter and a much improved score line. And the final score line here in Amsterdam is Netherlands 5, Spain 22. Netherlands, they'll be able to take a lot out of this fixture. Perhaps they just need to work on their execution and the game could have been even more tight. Spain, on the other hand, had an impressive first half. And in the second half, all they could manage was a three-point penalty through the boot of Claudia Peña. Nonetheless, they will be satisfied with the 17-point victory over the Netherlands. And Spain haven't lost in this competition since 2012. But perhaps that could change in the next few years as the Netherlands are building nicely. Still, the Spain just have so much talent and attacking prowess. There's a few smiles there. You can see the number 12 of Solbeck. He turns 40 in October. Giving a few words. And head coach there on the right for Spain, Juan Gonzalez, also giving a few words to his troops. He'll know that despite this victory, They'll need to improve, especially going into the WXV tournament towards the end of the year. They'll also play the team that finishes last place in the Six Nations this year. Now look to improve on their performance in WXV 323 where they lost to Ireland but they did beat Fiji and Kenya. And they'll be looking to win that competition if they are still remaining in WXV 23 in Division 3 or maybe they'll be in Division 2. Who knows?
Just remember, there's more action coming live and free on Rugby Europe TV today and tomorrow. You can watch it all for free on Rugby Europe's website. Good to see the supporters on the park. Time now for interviews. Silka, thank you for the game today. What are your thoughts after that game and where do you feel it went wrong? Now, sorry, but I don't think it went wrong. Last season we lost 70-0 against this team. We make so many improvements. We never win from this uh, team. And we win the second half because we scored and they don't. So I'm really proud of my team. And uh, yeah, let's go to Dubai. <laughs> and what positives can you take from today's game? I can take, we need more games. We need more games on this level. And uh, then you can see how much improvement we can make. So uh, please World Rugby give us more games and Rugby Europe, yeah? Great, thank you for your time. Well said from Silke Havrakorner, 36th birthday today, the head coach of the Netherlands. And that's, that, that is the thing, they lost 70-0 last year against Spain, 69-0 the year before, and 87-0 three years ago. So it just shows you the improvement, and they won the second half as well. And an impressive try from Kast, who is giving out a signature there. Time to hear from Captain Linda van der Velde of the Netherlands. Thanks for your game today. What do you feel like your team was missing? Um, can I hold it or no? Okay. I think today just showed that like um, we clearly don't play enough games at this type of level. So I think we've really wor like worked on lots of things. And I think if, we, if I look at the development we as a squad, but as a program have made, it's very significant and it's really good. But then I guess like against a team like Spain, who just like uh, put pressure on us all the time and it's very difficult to defend, is something that we were missing. And then like that type of fitness, uh, I think that's what we lacked at some point. And at the times that we could score, we didn't execute and I think we weren't patient enough. So I think it was good to see where we stand and a lot better than it's been in the past couple of years. So we take that and we're very happy with that. But also, yeah, definitely work on what we want to like work on for the WXV. And what positives can you take from today's game? <laughs> uh, the positives I take away is we have a very young group. I see lots of potential. If I look at the growth we made from like how we played against Sweden compared to the game plan we have now and like the set piece we can execute. I think last year we played against Spain and the year before. We, couldn't have, we didn't have any ball to play because we didn't have any uh, set piece really to play off. They kept stealing our ball. So I think it's very good to see like that we have that and we definitely have stuff in place to become like real threats. But it's just, yeah, we need longer time together and um, play on a higher, uh, more levels, more games on a higher level. And I think it's very exciting to see where we can go. So that's the main takeaway for us. Great, thank you for your time. Well said by Alinda van der Velde, the inspirational captain in her 19th cap for her country. Now time to hear from the coach of Spain, Juan González. Congratulations on your game today. What are your feelings after the victory? Thank you very much. Uh, we're really happy that we we, we won today, but also we we know that we knew that uh, the Netherlands uh, they're gonna be a, a good team. They, they they have improved a lot and, and they make us very hard to to get the win today. So so we are happy and and yeah we're happy with. with that. And what differences do you think led to your success today? Uh, yeah, we, I think we, we scored very early in the game, in the first half, so that, that was a good thing for us to, to get confident. Uh, so, so we built the victory in the first half, that, that was a good thing. So, so yeah. Thank you for your time, congratulations. Words from head coach Juan Gonzalez. He's been in charge of 
Spain since April 2022 as head coach. Former Spanish 15s international as well between 2008 and 2011. And he was in the previous World Cup cycle. He was the assistant coach of the Spanish women's side and also ex-men's head coach of Burgos in the division de honor. Great scenes here out in Amsterdam. And now time to hear from Spanish captain Cristina Blanco. Great game today. What were the key elements in your success? I think the defense for our team was massively this today. Uh, you, we've seen the Netherlands have an incredible, uh, they have been much better today in the contacts. They've improved a lot. So our defense today was massive for our win. And next weekend is your next game. What will be important for you to prepare for this game? I think we need to be better at our, our attack. We need to make sure that we are doing the same in defense, but in an attack we need to keep doing better things. We need to improve, we need to be more accurate. Congratulations, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Cristina Blanco, her 21st cap for her country today. Started playing her rugby at Pocedo, but now applies her trade for Ealing Trailfinders. You are sixth on the table in the Premier 15s in the UK. Time to hear from the sensation and player of the match, fullback Claudia Pena. Remember the name. Did I go? Uh, congratulations, you're the player of the match. How are you feeling after this victory? Um, I think that uh, I got a step for our group for growing up, and also uh, Netherlands did so well for. Um, for putting uh, in a good in in a difficult way for for um, uh, getting points, but we had a point um, so good. So in the future we will grow up. Great, thank you for your time. Thank you. Really delighted with her performance, Claudia Pena. great thing is we'll be able to watch her for a very long time because she is just 19 and has already 13 caps for Spain. There's confirmation of the full-time score. Netherlands 5, Spain 22. Spain scoring three first half tries. The Netherlands scoring their first try over Spain in six years through their replacement prop, Brechta Kast the 21-year-old who plays a club rugby for Montpellier in the Elite 1 in France. And the tries that were scored by Spain were Pinero, Piquero, and Claudia Peña. And then confirmation of the 57th minute try for the Netherlands cast. in Amsterdam led out by Cristina Blanco Spain were and Lindy van der Folde leading out the Dutch emotional scenes with the anthems at the outset and yeah it was Pinero's first try they came straight out of the block Spain showing us what they're all about early on now Kudo Played the first half of the match, she controlled the game very well. And then Peña setting up this try for Piquero with a lovely fend. And then scoring 
virtually under the poles. Great, a 2v1. What a score that was for Clara Piquero. Darius, she had a really good game. She's had a good tournament. And then Pena, this marvelous try. Just pure brilliance. And you can watch that all day long. Big hits as well from Bikero. She had some good tackles in this game. And Kana, the 18 year old, also had a good few touches and that was that historic try for cast for the Netherlands. Just great strength. And Lalkin, she fought hard all game, but she got thumped there by the scrum of Julia Castro of Spain. Jordan Hull as well, got a few minutes in. The fullback. And then Lemons as well had a good game at nine as well as Van der Felder. And then Jong Gerias, this was a brilliant break. It was a pity uh, that couldn't be gathered by Kast. Peña, the player of the match. In picture from Spain. Yeah, all the standings. Spain. Well, the last time they lost to Sweden was in 2009. So it looks like it will be a victory next week against Sweden, which would mean that they'd win their seventh consecutive title. Unless Sweden produce a rugby miracle. And there's confirmation of that final fixture next weekend at one o'clock. UTC time in Sweden. Just one game left of the Rugby Europe Championship 2024. That's all from us in Amsterdam. Thank you very much for joining us.